Good morning guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I had such a good relaxing weekend. I went to the farmer's market yesterday, went to the sauna, did cryo, went to Katie Tra Ice House, had a great morning, Saturday morning. Jessica and I had to drive around and do things and we drove around Preston Hollow and I found where my future is. I know that that is where I'm meant to be. So anyways, welcome to another week in my life vlog. This week we are home and it's a little bit more of a chill week, which I have been needing. I feel so, I'm very happy. I'm in a better mood than I was last week. I was really just like out of it, okay? And this week we're getting, we're getting back to everything. Also, I've not been doing my morning pages. I was in the middle of Artist Way and I just like stopped when I was traveling. So I wanna get back to that. Awesome at my place that I go to with like my sauna and cold punch like all that stuff I have a ton of like credits basically left over that I have to use my Saturday so I will be there every day this week like I will be waking up working out going to restore to do saunas or whatever it's gonna be a really good week by the way if you're new here subscribe um okay so I finished lessons in chemistry last night and like the first 20 percent of it i was like so excited to read it as i was reading because i really liked it and then like once something happened it just like changed the book it's a very like odd book it's very like kind of random um which is nice because it's not like the same thing over and over again and i liked the sentiment i like the heart of it but like i just wasn't like obsessed with it like i don't think it's a must read by any means but the rating on goodreads is a 4-4 that's a really high rating um, out of five, obviously. So, I don't know. I read, I'm rating it like a three, which I was kind of surprised by because I don't know. I feel like maybe three, five. I didn't hate it, but I don't know. It just didn't like a four, four book for me, you know? So, let me know what you guys think. But it really wasn't my thing. Anyways, going to walk, going to uh, my weightlifting class, and then I'm going to restore. We're doing cryo again today, which is like cryotherapy. So, I'm doing it on my legs, which like kind of like tightens up your legs. So, yeah. There we are. Hope you guys enjoy this week in my life vlog. Alright guys, I just got out of weightlifting and I feel so good. I'm getting so much stronger. It's so rewarding. But now, I'm going to cryo toning and I have my sweater with me because it gets cold and they're basically like freezing my legs. I don't know. Like, here's the thing. I am not going to sit here and act like I can exactly explain to you the science behind what's happening here. Um, but that's what we're doing today. So I'm heading over to Restore. I'm just feeling so much better. The one thing is I haven't journaled this morning, which I do, that is a goal of mine this week to get into it. But for some reason, I'm just like, I don't want to. I think maybe I hit like a part in my journaling experience where maybe to me, it's like getting too deep and too into it or like things that I don't want to deal with or something. I don't know because I have like such a resistance towards it right now. I really don't know. I so anyways listening to Jay Shetty this morning. I am like literally the epitome of health and wellness. Thank you very much. Um also I forgot to leave my bratwurst out this morning in the freezer. So I don't know what I have for lunch, but having a great morning. Alright guys, I'm back from the not the sauna. I went to cryotherapy. I'll give you guys an update like once. I'm done with it. I don't really like ever film when I'm getting it done because basically I just have like a cold machine on my legs, so it's like kind of what's to vlog. Um, but I worked on my phone and I listened to podcasts and stuff. Now I'm just heating up my sauerkraut chicken casserole. I made it over the weekend and I didn't film it, but I have obviously sauerkraut, carrots, potatoes, actually a lot of things. So I will maybe film it soon because some of this stuff I'm forgetting what it's called. So like we'll wait, you know? But it's very, very good. It's very fall. It's incredible. Sauerkraut is so good for you. Makes you feel amazing. And I just like, love sauerkraut. I also have bratwurst. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Actually, I, I shouldn't do that today. No, tomorrow. Anyways, just thinking of all my wheels to make this week. Oh, by the way, in our Christmas drop, we have a Bread Housewife little kitchen towel coming. Really excited for that. It's almost noon, so I need to do like probably two hours of work. Then the dogs are getting baths. And then I need to go pick out new glasses. I got a new prescription last week. So I'm going to look very smart. And I'm actually going to be able to see. And my friends will be so happy to hear that. So, oh, and I have like errands to run. I just like whatever. I kind of want to read. I want to hang out on the rooftop. Um, it's really just a good vibe. This is probably a little bit too much. I don't know if I'm that hungry. But, and I know I should be using a fork. But I'm just, I'm kind of in a rush, you know? Um, anyways, it's so good. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow, Coco, like you love the camera, I see. Okay, well I'm taking the pups to go get baths. Coco is so cute. Fitz, you wanna do a little before and after? He's uninterested. Then I'm gonna get some matcha, run some errands, go to the car wash, I need to get new glasses. You guys already know the deal, so. I just got my car washed, got an inspection, and now I'm getting glasses. I'm being really responsible today. to the new Warby Parker. Well, it's new-ish um, in Knox Henderson, like literally off Henderson, right by Tacovas. So cute. I'm just gonna stop in Tacovas. They have these new boots that are really cute. They're green. Okay, first off, these are perfect. And then these, so beautiful. Just got Marissa's gift for her housewarming party this weekend. Sorry, I have a sucker in my mouth, but they have Fur Bishop over the car now, which is like my favorite tabletop line ever. I always order them online. I've never even seen them in stores, but I'm so happy. So I got her some of that. I got her some cute wine glasses. It all looks good together. We are back home. Fitz, come over here, bud. He is so fluffy and so soft. Also, these ballet flats, I don't know if they're still available. I'll link them below. So they're from Sam Edelman and they have a fuzz on the inside. They are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my life. It's just feeling brand new with this haircut. I'll show you guys what I got. Oh, I also got cards that I haven't put in there yet because well, one's for another gift and one's for this one. Um, because I haven't obviously signed it yet, but I got a Boy Smalls candle. I love these candles. Over there, I have the Cowboy Kush one. Also, like that just makes me so angry. It ruins the whole vibe of my home and I cannot figure out how to not have that show up ever. But anyways. I have the Cowboy Kush candle over there, and then I picked up the Cashmere Kush one because it's beautiful and it smells really good. Really, really cute. Love that. It's only like almost 5 p.m. I'm actually gonna make dinner because I'm actually really hungry. Later, I'm obviously in my pajamas, just showered, but I had a little local delivery from a Cosmic Culture, so I found them, their sauerkraut, at um, a farmer's market recently, and I really, really like it. That's actually what I used for my sauerkraut um, chicken. And then I went online to order, and they have this bundle. So I actually got some yogurt. So this is like the cacao, and this is the original. I'm really excited to try this. I have blackberries that I'll probably make like this for breakfast in the morning, but loving this lifestyle for me. Anyways, if you need good sauerkraut, I really, really like this stuff. And it's actually the way it's made is way better for you. I can't talk. It's really just the vegetables and the pink salt. Um, by the way, I pay for this. This isn't like a dealer even gifted. I just love their stuff. It's so good. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I'm having a slow morning at home. I was gonna go work out, but it just, I needed to like sit on the roof and read and write. I made my coffee. We're trying the new Nut Pod hazelnut creamer. I need to try it with hot coffee because I feel like that's how you really know. Last night I started watching Monarch. I'm only like one episode in um, and it's kind of like a new Nashville show which I'm excited for. Um, I've really been needing one. I go to Nashville like two weeks too, so it's perfect. Um, I'm trying to get back into reading and writing and uh, well, I'm always into reading, but I'm trying to get back into writing. Today, I just have a lot of like appointments and things. I have a lunch with a brand and then um, I have a facial, I have a podcast recording. Jess and I are gonna do some tote bag things. Guys, look at how bad my rooftop looks now. It's just like been taken over by the storm. Like these fully need to get replaced. The umbrella, like how did the actual umbrella covering just like fall off of that? Please someone explain that to me. We had really bad storms, so that's why I just like haven't been up here since I avoid it sometimes because I'm like, I don't want to take care of that. 
or deal with that. Um, obviously my plants are dead, but that's just a given. So that's, you know, old news. Anyways, I hope that I can replace these pads because the same thing for this couch, like these are just gross and need to be replaced. And I would like to replace them because I will be using this a lot in the fall and winter. It's very relaxing up here. So I think I'm gonna have to figure this out now. All right guys, so let me just tell you. A lot has happened since we spoke about five minutes ago. Found replacement cushions. I got beige for over there and then I found some for my couch and I'm not sure if they're gonna work so I might have to return them. Um, but I got gray as much as I don't want to get gray. It's just like, you know, these did hold up well for two years. Like now they're gross, so I will say that. But just like for my own sanity, I feel like it's just safer to get gray. I feel like a dad, like my dad was like, why are you getting white? So I might hate the look of it. I don't know what it is. I'm not a big gray person, well, a certain specific gray. On, I'm very picky when it comes to like gray in the house. So maybe it'll be fine on the rooftop. I'm gonna try to get new ruggable rugs. I've decided since I'm like dreaming of a yard and like a garden and all this stuff, I don't wanna just take my roof for granted. So we're doing a little roof refresh, if you will. Those cushions get here this week. I don't know when the couch cushions get here because I didn't get them on Amazon. I got them on Overstock. And they, again, might not fit. I don't really know. So that's exciting. Obviously, my fireplace over there broke the first snowstorm. So, like, what was I supposed to do? You know, it's tough. And it was tough out here. Um, and that needs to move over. These things, like little beanbag things, they were, like, $100 each. And they're a crowd favorite. Like, I wouldn't say they hold up crazy well, but they're only 100 bucks. Like, actually, I would say that they're a really good buy. Um, but as you can see, like, the rug is really done for. I have a towel up here that I haven't taken out since July, clearly. So that needs to be thrown away. Um, but these rugs have lasted, you know, for a while. And then I have one over there. But I need to honestly throw them away because they're just gross. And then I want to get ruggable rugs up here. Um, that is ideal. And then I am gonna replace this coffee table. I just don't know what coffee table I wanna buy. So um, for the time being, I'm gonna hold off on this. This is a cheaper purchase. But anyways, just being up here makes me so happy. Like it needs to be part of my routine. I love being outside. It just feels so cozy. Um, my lights are up. I think I need to replace some of the light bulbs. But anyways, I should just give up on the plants because they always die and I don't keep up with them. But now, I kind of want to go through it again. I kind of want to go to Home Depot. I kind of want to get new plants. Like, what do we think? Do I even try? Do I? I don't know. Now, oh, I've been wanting to wear this necklace. I'm getting ready right now. Oh, you're cute. And I'm really changing the vibe of my outfit. I'm getting a facial today, so like I'm really not feeling like putting a lot of makeup on. I think I'll do like a very subtle. Oh, I was gonna wash my hair today. Guess I'm not doing that. I'm already dressed, that's not happening. So this is from Peyton's collection and like I literally, I don't know if I'm an idiot, but I just cannot figure out clearly how to clasp this on today. Anyways, it's really cute. It's with Love Birdie, I think is the name. They're actually Texas based, I'm pretty sure. So I have this long sleeve on. I don't know if you guys can even see. I hate the noises that this room makes, but this long sleeve on a blazer these shorts are samples for something that we were like considering releasing and we're not anymore so just have these random samples laying around um my prana loafers i need to put lotion on and get ready do the rest of my skincare but i'm liking the look you know i can even like button it up if i want it looks cute it'll look good with my bag too it's giving like kind of almost preppy ish anyways i'm going to um a lunch in Dallas for Wild Ike, which is where I get all my piercings from, and it's super cute. It's like right next to Dry Bar Highland Park Village or Highland Park. I think it's at Beverly's, which I'm excited about. I've only been in Beverly's a few times, actually once I think with Julian Hunter, and it was really good. So really looking forward to that. I added this necklace from the M Jewelers. I think it's super cute. Okay, very um, it's a lot. You know, it's definitely a lot. It's a statement piece. But I think it's cute. So this is the look. All right, guys, here's my outfit for the day. My shoes are Prada, socks are Amazon, shorts are samples that didn't go anywhere. It's a black blazer, this white, my favorite blazer is from Zara. This white top long sleeve is Skims. And then I actually have like pretty cool jewelry on as you guys saw already. Um, my skin is just so dull, which is great because I'm getting a high, well, not great, but it is great because I'm getting a hydrofacial today. So that will go away and then my skin will be glowing. You know, anyways, 10.30, lunch is at 12, so I'm gonna get some more work done. And then head out, I'm very excited. It's nice to see people during the week. Well guys, I thought the event this entire time started at noon, 
started at 11, which is fine because it's like a preview. But I'm getting there right at noon, so dang it. Oh well. I was just like ultra, ultra productive. I'm gonna leave this on for four to six hours. Oh wow, that's like past my bedtime. And wash it off then. It's my first chemical peel. I only did a level one. Oh, spam. Anyways, I need to get home for a podcast recording and then I'm making dinner and Jessica and Lauren are coming over and we're gonna customize some totes for the Okine for this weekend, do a little Dallas tote bag thing. So it's gonna be fun. That is my plan for tonight. All right guys, I just recorded a podcast episode for like a local podcast. They have a really genius podcast where they interview like locals in different cities and you get all the recs from them. So if you're like visiting Dallas or you're visiting like Chicago or wherever it is, they interview a local and then you get recs from them and it just like makes your planning so much easier. So I just did that. Um, it's now 5.40, I'm gonna make dinner and then I think the girls are coming over and we're gonna do some of the bags. We are just gonna customize a few. For the Dallas pop-up, um, make them cute, you know, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. It shouldn't take us too long. Um, I really, like, want to be in bed kind of early tonight. Guys, I forgot that Abercrombie sent over, I sent these pics in. You know how last week I had the Abercrombie denim haul? Well, I ordered that myself. So I just got a huge package from Abercrombie thinking, like, oh, I accidentally ordered twice. But then I remembered, no, I'm the luckiest girl in the world, and I have sweaters from Abercrombie that came in. Now, I got these tops in three different colors so I know I'm gonna love them and I got them in a medium and I will say I wish already I would have gotten a small because it would have been cuter a little bit more fitted but like look at how fabulous so I have the cream one and the quality is amazing the price points are just like you can't beat it then I have a gray one this is literally my Mr. Rogers sweater and then I have a brown one isn't that just crazy I also got this beautiful chocolate brown sweater I mean it is beautiful so anyways I love this so much Thanks, Abercrombie. I'll link everything below if you guys need good sweaters. Like this right here, $70. That is such a good price for this sweater. Sweaters get very expensive, okay? Anyways, you just can't beat Abercrombie. And I got three of the same top because I knew how much I would love it. And I will be living in those this fall. So I am not that hungry right now. I'm like, do I start making dinner? I can't tell. I'm gonna ask Jess how hungry she is and see. I think I am gonna make myself a little Olipop though. My chicken has gotten not frozen. Guys, I like can't talk this week. It's ridiculous. I was trying to talk to the girl who did my facial and I had to just give up. I had to just be like, you know what? I'm not talking anymore because nothing I'm saying makes sense. All right, guys. Um, we're currently making our tote bags the for the Dallas pop-up. Lauren's helping us and she's doing the best. Lauren's very artistic, so I... Okay, but like guys, just showing you, like you should have seen what was under that. I had to cover with a big <laughs> one because I messed it up. And like that is perfect. Stencils are harder than they seem. They are hard, but not that hard. But still, okay? Like it looks so cute. It's not, this is what I have. You know, I finished one, but it's just, it's not, not as good as Lauren's. These are so cute. We have little Dallas exclusive totes for the pop-up. Just a few. They're so cute. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. Just made breakfast, about to read in journal. The rooftop is so cute and peaceful and will be cuter once my stuff arrives. All right, I'm now off to weightlifting class. My favorite class of the week these days. It's arms day. Actually, this is my least favorite now that it's arms. I take it back. 
guys, here's my workout outfit of the day. Set active set. I'm always wearing one of these sets in these videos. Sweaters from Madewell, hokas, glasses are Amazon, bag Chanel, water bottle is set active. I don't think they sell this anymore though. Feeling incredible and very cozy in my sweater. I'm now going to restore again. I have infrared today, the sauna, and then I have cryo with the like hyper, like not the hyperbaric thing, the machine. It's kind of scary. This is what I go into. It's scary. Okay, guys, I did the infrared sauna and then I did cryo right after it, and I feel amazing. I have a hair appointment today, so I'm gonna be working from the chair, which I actually get so much done at her appointments. I'm stopping and getting a Starbucks before getting my nails done tonight. I might go hang out with some friends. This is really the ultimate self-care week. It's truly what I needed. Tomorrow, I'm so lucky because um, the Thompson invited me in for this like spa event. I'm not really sure what it is. We'll see tomorrow, but do any of you like change your morning routines depending on the time of year? Like I find when it's cold out, I like working out like the evenings sometimes because I like having like a cozy morning at home but in the summer I'm just so miserable I've got to get up and get it done you know so I kind of feel like maybe soon I'll be changing up my routine so I'm getting my pumpkin coffee order is on my Instagram just gotta do it I have these bracelets I guess I'm gonna wear them I have no idea where they're from they're just in my car all right guys this is my before and then I'll share the after later I just really like I just need a lot more highlights. I really like a good root melt. I like getting my hair done the least amount of time possible. I, it just takes so much time out of your day. And like, granted, I'm really grateful because I can work from the salon, but it really is just like such a time suck. But um, on the bright side, I can work from the chair. So like, I guess not that big of a deal. But anyways, I'm in a really cute area. Love it here. I listened to Gabby Bernstein. I also don't think I said this earlier, but I did one of her um, meditations in the sauna. I'm trying to get into like meditations and whatever, and I'm reading one of her books right now. And I just love her. I really want to have her on the podcast. And I'm learning so much. I'm listening to her podcast. I just, I love her. I'm really into it. So that's another self-care thing I'm doing this week. Also, this sweater is like so good. I didn't know how I would feel about the collar here. You know, but I actually like live in it. It's just so cozy. All right, guys, my hair is now so much better. Unbelievably better. They moved up my extensions and then I'm blonder. I just, thank God. You know when you just like desperately needed your hair done? I feel incredible. I haven't had Chick-fil-A in so long. I'm so excited. Back home, here is like a better look at the hair. I just got a partial highlight really easy and honestly it's just what I needed so bad was for my extensions to be moved up and that is what makes me happy. Let's go to a nail appointment. I got so much done in the salon chair. Like I don't know what happens to me when I'm in a salon chair but I become like 15 times more productive. It is crazy. Seven, back on the rooftop it is beautiful out oh my gosh guys also my nails I can't get over them I really like them I got like little brown color underneath and did chrome the Hailey Bieber nails I'm really late to this trend also at what point are we gonna be really over this but I like it really cute a little bit of good morning guys I just got to Pilates it is 8.15. Also, comment below your top favorite podcast as of lately, because I kind of need to add a few new ones into the mix. Sorry about this lighting. Anyways, I'm going back to Pilates. I haven't been going like as much because I've been incorporating other workouts. So I'm excited to go this morning. And then after I have sauna, cryo again, I have therapy today. I have an event for the Thompson at the spa. It's a good day, guys. Back in the sauna this morning. I stopped 
chocolate roots and I got a juice. I haven't drank that yet. I'm about to. I'm actually going to go to therapy. Well, actually, I'm going to get some work done and then I'm going to go to therapy. So I probably won't be vlogging until later tonight. These sweatpants are my sweats that I just got from Mad Happy. Like, here's the thing. Yes, they are pricey, but they are the best sweats ever. I got them in a medium and honestly, I would even do a large just because I like my sweats really baggy. Um, but these are really comfy. Prada shoes. This tank top is Zara, and then my sweater is the one that I'm living in and from Madewell. Um, my skin right now is looking a little bit rough. Like I have a lot of like little small breakouts. So tonight at the Thompson, hopefully whatever they do there, we'll fix it and it'll go away. I'll also self tan tonight though, and then I'll feel better, you know? That is so much better. This is why she's like one of those aesthetic, perfect TikTok girls and has like the cutest stuff you've ever seen. It's because of this. So, oh, hi. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I will be grabbing that in a second. I just had such a fabulous night, as I always do at the Thompson Spa. I am incredibly passionate about the Thompson Spa. It is literally my favorite place in the entire world. Also the best spa I've ever been to. I can't talk right now. As of right now, it's September 15th, but I'm hoping this video by the 30th because this is for all of my Dallas girls. So basically there's new med spa services, derma planning, which I got tonight, incredible. Microneedling, facial peel, red light therapy. They have the your skin, or no, skin better facial they have a skin better peel they have massage they have like literally everything but the skin better facial is the best facial i've ever gotten in my entire life and right now until the september 30th you get 20 percent off microneedling skin better facial thompson signature facial using code either kenzie or kenzie elizabeth um and then it's very important to know that when you book a facial or a treatment at the spa then you're also able to use everything in the spa so you get to use the hot cold plunge pool deck that overlooks the city, as you guys saw. The eucalyptus steam room, infrared sauna, and barrel sauna. So you basically get a spa day for the facial. So you guys can use code um, Kinsey or Kinsey Elizabeth. And I'm just so happy for you guys. So anyways, I have a goodie bag or a little gift basket. They also gave us pajamas. So like, you know that I'm just thriving. And I'm actually really excited because I was going to buy this when I left, but they had it in gift bags. And it is the Skin Better like line. So I'm gonna actually like try this with skincare because I'm very, very passionate about my Skin Better Facial. Ooh, neck perfecting cream. I feel like I gotta do something there. Oh, and chocolate. Oh my God. Wait, hemp chocolate. Oh my God. I'm like really thriving today. I'm like not even that tired, which is a little bit alarming, honestly. So just now eating my candy. You guys are sitting on a very big box and that is my box of hopefully my lounge chair cushions, but I'm a little bit concerned because I don't know if this box is big enough. And also I was gonna put them on tonight, but I think it just got dark, so we will see about that one. I can do it in the morning if I need to, but my grandma I think is coming over tomorrow to help me with my garden that hasn't doesn't exist yet, but will exist in the near future. Okay, let's see about this one. Like it has to work, right? I'm just gonna unbox these. And like, you know what? I don't even care if it's dark out. I'm doing it. This doesn't matter. Who cares? It's a private rooftop. Nothing bad can happen. All right, sorry about the annoying AC. These are the new pads. They are a little bit smaller than the old ones, but I think it's actually fine. It'll just get taking, like once I see it on there for a while, I won't think it's weird, right? Like, I think it's fine. Like, honestly guys, I'm just not gonna fix it. So like, this is what it is and let's just be grateful for it. Um, there are some shoes I left up here about six months ago, but anyways, I think it looks good. Good morning guys. I love my workout outfit of the morning. It's 8 a.m. or no, it's 7 a.m. I don't know, it's morning. 
Set Active Set. These are the best. The one shoulder actually are really supportive. I don't understand it. I'm a double D, so like I promise you they're supportive. Um, like some of the most supportive. It's very weird. I have my Bremen House of Crew on, Hoka's, and I'm about to go on the roof and I'm supposed to journal and read. And then I have boxing this morning. I might get a coffee before that though, so we'll see. I just don't really feel like making a coffee from home. So we'll see. Up we go. Fitz does not like going on the roof. Fitz, why don't you like it? Oh, big stretch, <gasps> big stretch. Oh, beautiful girl. Okay, let's see what they look like in daylight. See, look, like they don't look amazing. And I definitely could have nicer ones, but this was only like 110 to fix, I think. And if I were to get the other ones, it could be way more expensive. And honestly, I'm just fine with it. Like at the end of the day, I have to be fine with it. I will be taking a trash bag up here later and getting rid of a bunch of the trash. Hopefully the rugs do. I don't know about that one. I hope my grandma's coming over today because she will give me good advice. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. All right, guys, I want to start meditating. People recommended Superhuman, but that's like a really big chunk of change. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of money. Is it worth it? What do I do? You guys let me know. Can I get any breakfast items started for you? Yes, can I do the kale egg whites? Oh, let me make sure I have some really quick. All right, perfect, thank you. What else for you today? And then can I do a grande iced coffee with one pump pumpkin sauce, um, no classic, and then a splash of oat milk? Grande iced coffee with no classic, one pump of pumpkin? Yes. And there was something else with that? A uh, splash of oat milk. Anything else? That's it. How does that screen look? Good. Perfect, thank you. Wow, guys, I am here every day. The people here, by the way, this one opened like two weeks ago. They already know my name. <laughs> I'm just friendly. You know, what can I say? That must be why. Guys, I just keep getting like such amazing news this week. I am was stressed about the Nashville batch recording trip because I felt like the guests were just like not available when I wanted them, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and now I'm having these guests on that I've been wanting to have on for so long and I'm so excited. Also, I have a call with Skims today. I don't know if I told you guys, but I got like a long-term partnership with them for like four months um, for the rest of the year, which is like literally the coolest thing ever to me because Skims is my favorite brand. I wear them all, like literally I wear something from them every single day. I wear the pajamas, you guys have seen me, you guys have seen me wear Skims literally 24 seven. And besides my own brand, it is my favorite. So I'm just so excited, I'm just like, Wow, you know, I'm not gonna lie, earlier this week I was having a hard time, last week I was having a really hard time. I just, I don't know, I've kind of been going through it a little bit, just like with stuff in my personal life, but um, I'm in a really good mood now, and I'm really grateful, and I love you guys so much, and I would never be able to do any of this without you, so thanks guys. And we're having the pop-up in Dallas tomorrow. I'm so excited. again this is the only week i'm going like every day by the way guys i just had credits to use but i have my hypertoning or cryotoning appointment and then i'm gonna do the hyperbaric chamber because i got a free one with like my first month so i'm gonna try that today i think i'm doing an iv very excited it's in west village So I just got out of hyperbaric. I did cryotoning, which is just toning my legs, as you guys know. And then, or like more so like the skin. But like I have indents on my face. I went in the hyperbaric chamber. I vlogged a little bit of it, if you guys could see. And it was crazy. The thing about wellness is that like it really takes up so much of your time. But the other thing about a lot of the wellness stuff is that you can work as you're doing it. So like I worked while I was doing cryotoning and the hyperbaric thing today. So I actually like didn't lose time. Just multitasking, habit stacking, if you will. Um, that just like brings a lot more oxygen to you. It's good for like skin health, um, brain health, which I'm like super into. You know what? I used to be a lot more into brain health. I was like fascinated by it. I kept reading all the books, like Dr. Amen, I'm obsessed with. He follows me on Instagram and every time, guys, he watches all my stories, I see it, okay? Because I'm like so obsessed with his Instagram, it always like pops up at the top. 
And like my Instagram stories more often than not are alcohol. You know, when I'm out on the weekend, like I always like post a photo on my drink to like give like a wreck or like whatever. And every time Dr. Eamon uh, views that story, I'm like, I literally want to die. I, I like live my life wanting so badly for him to like me. Like there are very few people that I genuinely, no, I, okay, like everyone cares who you like, right? But there are like a few people that I, like, I need their validation. I need them to love me. And I was saying this about someone else the other day and I can't remember who it was. It's always like random people. Like it's never the people that you would think or expect. It's never people that would even make sense for me um, ooh, on paper to like really care about their opinion. It's people like Dr. Amon, who's like a brain health doctor or who else did I say the other day? Like the girl who owns, like the woman who owns the ranch that I ride horses on, like just random people like that. Like I so badly need their validation. So anyways, if you guys see me never ever ever posting margarita on my story ever again, you know why. And also, whenever you guys see me post Instagram stories and margs and ranch waters and whatever it is, just reply Dr. Eamon. Just put me in my place. Remind me that he's watching and then maybe it'll actually make me stop drinking. So anyways, I'm heading home. I have a meeting with Skims in a sec. And then after that, my grandma is coming over and I'm making her lunch and... We're gonna, we're gonna plan my garden out. She doesn't know that yet, but that's what we're doing. Okay, I just came home to my ingredients for lunch, but also I made an order from Kylie Cosmetics because I, you know what's crazy? I actually don't know anyone who has Kylie Cosmetics now, but like I need new lip products and I really wanted to try out, like just go back to the lip kits. I got the bronze palette, got two lip kits clearly. I just tried this gloss drip and I love it. It smells incredible. Um, what about this? Kylie Kylie liner. Ooh, I'm gonna try all this tonight. And this is the gloss strip. So, anyways, I'm really excited to do my makeup today because this is what I will be doing. All right, so I have onions chopped, tomatoes, garlic, seasoned, olive oil, everything. Um, and this is going in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes. I saw this TikTok recipe. I'm kind of going off the recipe, but like I don't have everything, you know? Sorry on my phone, I don't know where my camera is. Um, it is Friday night, it's like 7 p.m. I'm waiting for my friend, we're going to Friday night dinner at Honor Bar. I'm sure y'all are shocked. This afternoon was great, I just spent it with my grandma. Um, I got some work done and I'm going off to dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. My Dallas live show has been announced by this point, so shop the tickets. And then I have my pop-up in the morning, which I'm really excited for. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll talk to you soon. I think like I always like with everyone that I've dated like I've always tried to see if I could imagine some sort of like future yeah. with them and like you always kind of are like yeah I guess like sure be fine you know what I mean yeah and then like with him I met him and it was just like oh like everything just felt like at ease 